It's hard to get over something when I'm still under attack. It's hard to rise to the occasion of being the bigger person with your foot in my back. It's hard to have pure thoughts when my brain is in desperate need of a bath. You stand there and laugh, pretending to be pleased with yourself. Too proud to ask for help. Too intelligent not to know that you need it. I know all your dirty little secrets. You're falling apart at the seams. Yes, it seems you can barely hold it together anymore. Soldier children off to war, America. You whore. How many bastard seeds have you borne? Only to deny them safety. Label them anchor babies. Trivialize the trauma that comes with taking a life. Train them to fight. Teach them your addiction to black gold is a worthy cause. Smog my ocean mirror as I search gray skies for a clearer picture of the beauty. The old songs hymn you once were. A trail of tears blurs my perception. And the election of a biracial president, although heaven sent reeks of pacification as closet racists hinder legislation, monopolize media conversation and refuse cooperation. You used to be a haven for the tired, for the poor, for the huddled masses yearning to breathe free. How false and idle the Statue of Liberty. Can you remember what she was intended to mean? What she once meant? We hold these truths to be self-evident. You were always so eloquent with your hypocrisy. Your pimp-ass democracy was founded on the backs of slaves, on land that you raped and scaped to occupy. Fast forward in time, you've yet turned into the housewife. Learned into my life a foster mother. I soon discovered all I am to you is a FICA payment, ever cognizant of my own displacement due to the prefix on my ethnic classification. Label me African American in race. I was born lost in this place, made to feel like I was the pilgrim. I go to plant seeds and your school system tries to kill them before they grow. Yes, I know you sit front row Sunday mornings next to the pulpit. With that in God we trust bullshit. Saturday night was spent on your knees to please Saudi Arabia and China's running a train on your ear. Yeah, it makes me sick to hear North Korea call you his bitch as you sit and try to justify your transgressions. The entire recession was a product of your own greed, a symbol of your incompetency to lead. And now the whole world will see you for who you really are. A beautiful woman scarred beyond recognition due to historical repetition of crimes against nature, neighbors, present and past. Y'all, she's planted snakes in the grass. And though she is indeed a charmer, the venom seeks eventually to harm her. <laughs>